the legend of fierce deity. Legends say this mask was worn by a hero from a world in which the moon threatened to fall. It looks scary, but where it yet offers fierce, godlike power. But all we have are legends to go off of. But I know of a different story. Would you like to hear it? It trials over a course of four days. Let's dig into day one. We can't start the story of the fierce deity without first speaking of Majora and what became Majora's mask. So let's start there. Day one. Majora's hunger and the deity's dubious food. So the story goes, in that world, some 10 million years ago, that creature lived alone. And one day, he caught the scent of a creature from beyond. A creature not native to this land. Not native to any land, in that fact. This creature was, in spirit, the fierce deity. Though his appearance differed, he was indeed the fierce god, the fierce warrior, and the spirit of the future Link. See, Majora lived far away from Hyrule. He now lived in a place called Termina. Why? Well, he had seen, experienced, and endured through all of the Hylian greed that is spoken of in Sheikah history. Not wanting to add to that, with the magical armor that he had that could give any Hylian, any human, any desire they wished, similar to the Triforce. So, with his magical power, he created a land free of time, free of space. It was a land that he would be able to live in and be in peace. I mean, doesn't that sound like paradise? Right? But after so many years, he tired 